everybody, it's Kim with Vintage Rose Creations. I'm coming to you today with a project share. Um, this is a junk journal that I created. You can see the dangles on the front. Here's my cover. It's pretty fat, as you can see, so I'm going to untie it and show you what I've done. Um, here's the spine on the side. I've got a tassel, some charms up there. A flower down there and then here's the back it's kind of eclectic um, so I'll show you I've got a pocket I've got a pocket on the inside you can see vintage photographs I've got music paper little doilies this is a cute little tuck spot some crochet things these are some things that I've made and things that have been sent to me some a little tag in here. Um, you can see that's a little tuck spot that I made out of a map. Different kinds of paper. Different textiles in there. Um, there's some book paper, some music paper, some dyed paper, little envelopes that I made, little pieces of fabric, yo-yo, advertisements, vintage type of things. This is a handmade written recipe that was sent to me back in my ephemera challenge. This is one of my tabs. It was a recipe tab. You can see some more book paper, music paper. I've got some things tucked in here, some washi that was sent to me, some different pieces of paper. This is a paper doll and he's got a little trumpet and some matte paper. This is a flip spot that's hiding that. Yeah, some more advertisements. I'm still going to do some stamping on this. I've just been adding to it little by little. Some envelopes with some goodies in it. Just been adding to it little, little by little. I just work on it a little bit every day. Some postage stamp images. Little bits of bridal applique. It's a Tim Holtz chipboard quote. I love this one that says, the things you are passionate about are not random, they are called your calling. I like that a lot. So you can see I've got paper clips with tickets and different ephemera, buttons, receipts, all kinds of little good stuff. This is a dyed applique, some more envelopes, ledger paper, music paper, paper clip stuff. And then I've got a little pocket on the back, and inside this pocket I've got a tag and a couple of envelopes and this really cute pen, and this was uh, made for me a while back, and I don't remember who sent it, but I thank you, and it's, it's sticking in the back of my back pocket of my journal. Here's one of the tags that's in there, and some more decorated envelopes in the back pocket with dyed, made out of dyed paper. So this is just one of my journals. You can see the bottom of this page has some um, iridescent sequin trim. And I've got some more fringe dangling from that. It's just one of my recent junk journals. I've been getting more into the junk journaling since we're doing a series, um, my friend Kim and I, on Tuesday mornings on her channel, Angel Dream Crafts. If you'd like to join us, Tuesday mornings at 11. You can see, and this is actually one signature, believe it or not. <laughs> it's a hidden spine um, signature and it, it's held up pretty well because it's got a lot fatter than I expected it to be but I'm really happy with the way it turned out it's kind of vintage girly kind of eclectic you can see the front cover I put some glitter when I maj podged over the image and there's a little stamp there and some dyed bits and little Battenberg bits and a bead some more of the sequin trim some wooden buttons so it's really fun there's some coffee filters in there that are dyed just a lot of good stuff in this really pretty paper. And then on the spine, it's the fabric. Um, I actually coffee dyed that fabric to make it look a little more aged, which is great. And this is coffee dyed lace that's hanging off of here as well. So thanks for looking at my junk journal. I just wanted to share that because I was kind of proud of it. It's taken me a while to, to work on that. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you haven't. And um, give this a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll be back again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.